uh, hi everyone welcome to this session so today we will we will be solving this uh, interview question okay basically this is a very easy circuit but interesting okay so let's uh, solve it okay so basically in this question uh, this m1 and m2 mosfet are properly biased in saturation okay and we have to calculate the small signal va so this is our node a right so small signal va by v in okay Actually, basically, this is a gain. So now, if we take this MOSFET, so this is a gate, right? And this is the source. So if we take a small signal gain from uh, gate to uh, gate to source, then uh, what will be the structure? Like, uh, uh, like, uh, what is the name of the structure? So we know that this is a common drain, common drain or source follower, right? source follower circuit so we know that if this is our input and this is our output so for this m1 mosfet this is a source follower circuit okay and uh, and for uh, for small signal analysis so this vdd will be ac small signal ground right and this ideal current source will be open circuit we all know that right and we check overall gm and overall r out to get the small signal gain of VA, VA by V in. So we know that, right? How to find the gain of a small signal gain of a amplifier, right? So we can, we, we know that uh, for a normal, for a, uh, okay, okay, yes. So for a, let's say this is our RS, okay. This is our VDD. And this is our V in, and we take output from here, right? So we know that for this, uh, for this common like the source follower amplifier, what will be our gain? We all know that, right? Here we know that this will be plus, right? Because because there is no phase shift here, okay? From uh, gate to uh, source, so this will be ZM into R out, and we all know in this case the overall ZM is nothing but ZM of this M1 transistor, right? Okay, so how to find the overall gym? We 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 do we do short circuit to ground and we find the small signal I out and the GM is nothing but uh, uh, overall gym is nothing but small signal I out divided by V in. Okay, so to get overall gym, we uh, short circuit the output node to ground and find the small signal I out uh, flow through the flow through the ground and we take V I out over V in ratio to get the overall gym. And to uh, to find the R out, how do we do? And uh, uh, and all the independent uh, like uh, all the independent sources sources are inactive, right? We all know that. And to get overall out, how do we do? All the all the independent sources are inactive, and we apply a test voltage there. Okay, let me draw again. We apply a test voltage there with respect to ground. Let's say VT, and we find what is the current coming out of this voltage source. Okay. And this will be also uh, like the uh, short circuit, right? Because this is an independent source. And then we take, uh, then we take uh, VT over IT to get the overall R out, right? So this is the thing we all know. And for this, uh, for this common common circuit, we know that the GM will be nothing but the uh, transconductance of this MOSFET one. So this is been GM one. And what will be the R out? We know that the R out will be here nothing but one over GM one parallel rs right so this will be nothing but rs by 1 plus gm rs so this is the normal case of a uh, 1 plus gm rs okay so this is gm1 right so this will be gm1 so this will be gm so we all know for this uh, for this common structure the like the source for our, the gain is gm times rs by 1 plus gm rs okay so now in this case what what is the what is our circuit so we can see that there is uh, here there is another extra path is here okay so now we have to find what is the impedance looking looking up here okay because this term has to be considered right because like uh, uh, like so if we draw the like the equivalent model of this circuit again so this will be like this right so this is our small signal ground this is our independent source and in this branch in this branch let's say the equivalent impedance is rs okay 
so this will be nothing but this case okay so basically we have to now we have to just find what is the rs here okay what is the rs here so what will be the looking up impedance here so basically this is a common circuit we all know so if this is our rd and this is so this will be our ground right to find the rs from here okay so here we can do the again the apply a th voltage there uh, let's say vx and find the what is the coming out of this source like the voltage source then we take vx over ix right and this is our this is small signal ground and this is our rd right so this is how we can find the rs so basically this is a common structure and we will be assuming there is present like the r out is also present because let's say the channel length modulation is present here so lambda get at zero here okay so now if we have a r zero here let's say r okay rds here okay so this will be rds okay so what will be our like looking in impedance upwards from here we all know this will be nothing but so you can do the ac like the small signal model small signal model and then apply a tech voltage and measure the ix and then take the ratio of this okay then you will get rs will be nothing but rd plus rds divided by on plus gm rds okay so rds is nothing but the output impedance of this mosfet okay so this is the thing okay so this will be our rs so now if we draw the uh, draw the circuit again so this will be looking like this right so this is our current source and this is our rs this is small signal ground and this is v in and this is v out so here rs is nothing but rd plus uh, uh okay rd plus rds of 2 right so this will be here in this case this will be 2 right so this will be 2 okay because this is our mosfet 2 right this is our m2 so let's do that so rds by uh, 1 plus gm2 times rds2 right so now what will be our overall gain so our this is our va node right this is our node so va over v in will be nothing but the gm will be same right so, so the gm will be nothing but gm1 times here rds what will be the rds here so we know that here here the effective r out will be nothing but on over gm like the impedance looking up here is on over gm we all know that parallel this rs right so this will be our rs so if we again simplify it so this will be nothing but 1 over gm on parallel so this case right rd plus rds2 divided by 1 plus gm2 rds2 so this is the final expression so if we write that so it will be 1 over gm1 parallel with rd plus rds2 by 1 plus gm2 rds2 so this is the final expression okay so now if we take if we take if we take gm1 equals gm2 okay let's take and here we can assume uh, another thing this is let's say rd is very 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 less than rds okay rds of this mosfet okay let's say two so what will be the case so we know that this will again simplify it to the following okay so 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 this will be gm1 times into on on over gm1 parallel this will be nothing but on over gm2 right this expression so this will be on over gm2 now if we take gm1 equal to gm2 so this impedance will be the half right so we can assume again gm1 will be uh, we are taking gm1 equal to gm2 right so this impedance will be nothing but uh, half of this uh, impedance right so this will be on over uh, gm1 divided by 2 right so again so this will get uh, like cancel right so we will get 2 okay so this is the this is the like this is the interpretation interpretation we can assume that okay so this is how this circuit will work okay so let me check um, like i i have did some mistake or not so this will be nothing but this um, gm by 2 so this will be about okay uh, so this will be the case okay so this will be the gain so thank you everyone you can uh, give your valuable feedbacks thank you